when you have this blast cell that crowd out and push out the healthy blood cells, that is when you start to see the signs or the symptoms of leukemia. Okay, so when you have the red blood cell that is supposed to make you pink and carry oxygen all over the body and provide you with good energy, if the red blood cell number is low, you or the child is going to look pale and they're not going to have energy. And you will know as a parent when your child is not acting with regular energy. Platelets are supposed to prevent you from bleeding. So if the platelet numbers are low because the blast cells are pushing them out and not being able to make normal amounts, you're going to see a child who gets unexplained sudden bruises that don't go away or large bruises. Sometimes you might see little tiny red dots that are flat under the skin called petechiae. So these are some signs of low platelet. Sometimes you may have persistent nose bleeding. So nose bleeding is extremely common in children and the main reason is from nose picking, but it is the persistent nose bleeding or gum bleeding or looking pale. It's a combination of symptoms and signs that alert you and make you um, trigger to go and see your doctor. So when your white blood cells are low and they are not functioning normally, the child may have persistent fever that does not go away, or they may have frequent or recurring infections that are unusual and um, uh, that alarms you. Okay. Sometimes you might see swollen glands or lymph nodes around the neck that are extremely large. You might see the same swollen glands above the clavicle, which is not a normal area, or under the arm. Those are some of the other signs. Sometimes you may have a child who has a large belly because the liver is enlarged or the spleen is enlarged because of the leukemia cells. Sometimes the child may also complain of arm pain, knee pain, or leg pain, or they may have limping, or they are not able to run or walk as per usual. So these are some of the symptoms and signs of leukemia as a result of the white blood cell that misbehaves, mutates, grows out of proportion uncontrollably, and push out the normal blood cells.